Okay guys, welcome to Make Easy. Today in this video, I'm explaining you how to dry run the program or how to find the output of the given program. So in the exam, if this type of question will asked, you can solve in this way. I will explain you today. If you are clear with the while loop, how it works, you can continue with this video. If you don't know, still you can continue, you can understand. If you get confused, then you can watch my previous video. You can get the link of that video in the description below. Okay, let's begin. I'm using table to dry run the program. Maybe it will help you. So watch till the end and hope this will help you and you will be clear how to dry run and how to write dry run of the program in exam. Okay. So first of all, n value is 123. So I have written here loop. This loop will denote how many times this while loop is executing. We'll use that. n. n is the variable used in the program. s. s is also another variable used in the program. And this condition n not equals to this. This is the condition which is used in the loop. So I have written that also. And r. This is the another variable which is used in the program. And why I'm using here output because if something is written to print in the program, we'll use this output to print the value. So let's begin now. First of all, this is the first line. So I will write value of n equals to 123. Then in the second line this, that is written s equals to 0. So I'll keep here 0. Okay, I'm writing here line by line. So it will be easy to understand. So line number 3, while n not equals to 0. This is what? and not equals to zero column and this is the third row so in this n not equals to zero that means 123 not equals to zero because n value is 123 you can see the latest value here n is 123 not equals to zero so then this is what condition is true 123 not equals to zero condition true this is the condition of while loop and when this while loop condition is true it will go inside the loop and inside the loop there are three lines written here and this is the end of the while loop that is w e n d okay that's two in the fourth line after condition is true it is written r equals to n mod 10 okay so our loop start here so i will write here loop here one condition is true when condition is true in the fourth line it is written i'll go here r equals to n mod 10 so n mod 10 means 123 mod 10 because value of n is 123 it is not changed here so 123 mod 10 and if any number mod 10 then we will get the last digit of that number so last digit of 123 is 3 so answer is 3 value of r is 3 any number mod 10 will give the last digit of that number so n is here so 123 the last digit is 3 fine next and s equals to s plus r this is the fifth line s equals to s plus r where is s here so i'll go to the next line here s equals to s plus r so value of s is already what zero so zero plus r r value is what you can see here latest value that is three so this is what three so zero plus three is three value of s is three now fine now n equals to n integer division 10 where is n here so in the next line i will write n integer division 10 uh, value of n is 123 integer division 10 so whenever you are doing any number integer division 10 it will remove the last digit of that given number so we have 123 then if we remove 3 from 123 that will be 1 2 so any number integer division 10 will remove the last digit so we have value of n as 1 2 now before we have 123 now we have 1 2 good w e n d wind means while loop end when we reach here in the wind it will go back to the loop so from here it will go back back to the while loop in this line then again it will check the condition that is n not equals to zero so i'll go to the next line and i will write here n not equals to zero value of n is what you can check latest value n is 12 so 12 not equals to zero so this is true again yes 12 is not equals to zero and this is what second loop 
when we check the condition this while condition that is the second time we are checking this time first time 123 second time 12 this condition again true when this condition is true then it will go inside the loop and execute this three line first time r equals to n mod 10 where is r r is here i will go to the next line r equals to n mod 10 and value is 1 2 we can check here this one and value 1 2 mod 10 any number mod 10 will give the last digit of the given number we have 1 2 that is last digit is 2 so value of r is 2 good after that s equals to s plus r where is s here so we'll go here and in the next line s equals to s plus r value of s is already 3 you can check the latest value in this column so s that is 3 plus r value of r latest value of r is here that is 2 so 3 plus 2 is 5 value of s is 5 now n equals to n integer division 10 we'll go to the n column check here 1 2 latest value of n is 1 2 so in the next line i will write here 1 2 integer division 10 so any number integer division 10 will remove the last digit of the given number so we have 1 2 if we remove this last digit 2 then we'll have only 1 now value of n is 1 after that when when means while loop end but before it end it will go back to the while loop to check condition so we we'll back to the while loop again now let's go here n not equals to 0 so we'll go to the next line value of n latest value you can see in this column this is n latest value is 1 1 not equals to 0 then again condition is true because 1 is not equals to 0 condition true when condition is true it will go inside the loop right okay we are checking condition so this is third loop okay r equals to n mod 10 where is r here so in this one r equals to n mod 10 value of n latest value you can check in this column 1 so 1 mod 10 if any number mod 10 it will extract the last digit of the given number extract the last digit means we have only one so this is last digit so value of r will be one good so value of r will be one so after that s equals to s plus r s plus r where is s column this one now we'll go to the next work latest value of r yes is already five so five plus r r is what you can see here latest value one so this is what six value of s is six okay let me move this little bit up okay value of s is six after that n equals to n integer division 10 so we'll go to the n column here and here now n equals to n integer division 10 n value is latest value is one one integer division 10 means it will remove the last digit and only we have only one so if we remove that one also then what will have nothing that means zero so we have zero here so let me keep this up okay zero value of n is zero when when means it will go back to the while loop here and check the condition now n value is what zero now we'll go to this and not equals to zero one so i will add one more row below okay so in here in this one zero and value zero not equals to zero this is what now false because zero is equals to zero when checking the condition this condition is false when this condition is false it will go outside the loop outside the loop means it will not gonna print this when condition is false it will go just after when after when what is written here it is written here sum of value of s is so in the output whenever you see print in the output you need to write some the value of s is value of s is what you can check this one latest value of s is 6 so it will print 6 because of this s so our final output will be value of s is 6 now for what purpose this program is written the purpose of this program is to find the sum of digits of given number you can check the first value entered by the user is one two three so if you add this number three plus two plus one three plus two is five five plus two is six and we get that right six so the purpose of this program is to calculate sum of digits of given number 
sum of digits is s so this is the purpose of this program hope you understand this dry run okay let me show you this completely let me make it a little bit small in size so you can see okay here it is so this is how it works you can make this table in this way and you can show the result okay if i run this program the output will be so let me run this program and let's see whether the output will be sum of digit is six or not it may give you the correct result if we have dry run the program correctly while it is executing let me show you this slide okay you can see these numbers you can write these values okay you can see sum of digit is six so we got the correct result so in this way you can dry run the program let me scroll it down for false up to false you need to write so this is the one way to dry run the program and there are many other ways you can write the values of a b n like that step one step two in that way also you can do if we change this number still it will give the sum of digits 145 so 5 plus 4 will be 9 9 plus 1 will be 10 the sum of this given number 145 will be 10 okay done so hope you understand this program check it out once again thank you for watching if you understand please click on the like button click on the subscribe button and share with your friends have a great day see you in the next video with another dry run program mm -hmm.